Repair work at the Rio Vista Park spillway in San Marcos began earlier this year. Each time the water is lowered, different kinds of fish are recovered. That includes this, a sucker mouth catfish, also known as the armored catfish. Just in that one localized area where they had drawn the water down and removed the catfish, they were able to capture 406 of them just in the space of, you know, part of a day during that dewatering event. Monica McGarity is a biologist with Texas Parks and Wildlife. We spoke about this video, which is from a recent mitigation effort on the Sandmark and included Texas A&M researchers. The goal is to learn more about the non-native invasive fish and to improve ways to control the population. So there have been some discussions about potentially doing research in the future on using genetically altered fish, uh, introducing those into the population to reduce reproduction, but we aren't there yet right now. The sucker mouth with its thick armor-like scales burrows into the riverbanks causing erosion. It feeds on aquatic plants, damaging habitats for native species. It's estimated there are thousands of them in the San Marcos River, which is no surprise to visitors like Kim Stack and Karen Poland. Well, anytime we would walk on the banks, on the rocks, we would see them. And lately we haven't been seeing them since they've been pulling them out. The city of San Marcos also has a mitigation program. While complete eradication is not possible, there's been some improvement. We're seeing the Texas rice grow much more freely, thickly up the up river. These catfish are native to South America and they didn't get here by swimming. They're popular aquarium fish and sometimes when they get too big, owners will take them to a river like this one and dump them out. When you're considering buying a fish, learn about the fish. Learn how big that fish could possibly get and whether you're going to be able to keep it for its lifetime. And then if the fish does grow too large or you're no longer able to keep it, then you can try to return it to a fish, an aquarium store. Sometimes even an aquarium store like a local mom and pop aquarium store that didn't actually sell you the fish might be willing to take it back from you. Uh, and unfortunately, if you're not able to find a home for it or trade it to another aquarium hobbyist, uh, then euthanizing the fish is a better option than releasing it into the wild.